So today I want to show you guys the newest aquaponics addition to the local middle school I've built. This is a 185 gallon tank I made for the school using mostly recycled wood and a pond liner. The tank was built to have another final stage tilapia tank because the upstairs IBC tote would not be enough to handle all the tilapia when fully grown. And though another IBC tote would have been slightly cheaper to modify into another tank, by using wood and a pond liner, I was able to custom make the dimensions and it is easier to transport the pieces in my small car and assemble in the school, unlike an IBC tote which would never fit inside my car. So with that said, I also failed to record the building process of the new tank because of the lack of confidence I had in my building ability and I didn't want my probable failure logged and recorded. So I'll try to explain how the tank was built, but first I need to mention why it was built this way and what the prerequisites were. The first to remember is that tilapia need a 3 to 1 water to pound of fish ratio, meaning you need 3 gallons of water for every 1 pound of fish. So if you want to grow 50 pounds of fish, you need a 150 gallon tank. The second thing to remember when building your tank is that 1 cubic foot equals 7.5 gallons of water. So with those two things in mind, I made the tank 30 inches high by 30 inches deep by 48 inches long, measured from the inside, not the outside. And with the 7.5 gallon per cubic foot formula, that leaves us with a 187 gallon tank when filled to the top, which we of course won't be able to do, so we have it filled about 6 inches shy of full capacity, which leaves us with a 150 gallon tank. As for the build, the tank is made of three 48 inch by 31 inch plywood panels, which make up the bottom, front, and back panel, and two 30 inch by 31 inch plywood panels for the sides leaving us with 30 inches by 30 inches by 48 inches for our inside dimension. After you get all the panels assembled with a combination of screws and wood glue, you then need to make a frame to reinforce the walls which keep them from bowing out and busting open due to the weight and pressure of the water. For the frame, I basically made the box into a large shipping crate using 2 by 3 wood beams. The front and back have two 48 inch beams on top and bottom and the sides have two 33 inch beams on top and bottom and all four sides have three vertical beams each measuring 26 inches each. The beams are all screwed and wood glued to each other to make a frame and the frame is in turn glued and screwed to the tank for added support. The final major piece is the 8x10 pond liner which has to be placed neatly inside filled with water as to smooth out all the wrinkles and creases to remove gaps between it and the tank before being stapled into place on the top lip of the tank. The whole project took about 8 hours over the course of 4 days and is free of any leaks and has been up and running for about a month now. Lastly, the grow bed has a 65 liter storage container which is purchased at Goodwill for about $6. And I also built a frame for the grow bed and a platform which keeps it 5 inches over the top of the tank that allows us to have it filled higher than if it were just sitting directly on the tank due to the drain pipe and a net was added to cover the top of the tank for safety reasons. And that's basically it for the tank which has 50 tilapia at the moment all around 4 to 6 inches long. As far as accessories go there's a light fixture which was purchased from Walmart for around $10 and a 48 inch fluorescent grow light from Home Depot which was also $10. The pump inside is a 660 gallon per hour pump which was $12 from eBay. And all in all, from start to finish, the entire tank costs less than $100. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.